Hello everyone, for today's remake video we are taking a look at the Nixum Worm, specifically the E variant, as it has a unique destructive payload and came about in early 2006. And first we'll take a look at some of these documents we have. As you can see, just a basic war document it has the payload text from the AIDS DOS virus. But basically all of these office documents will be overwritten by the worm when it meets some specific criteria. Now that criteria is to have it boot up and be run on the third of any month, 30 minutes after that. So say you boot up your computer on the third, 30 minutes later the worm will overwrite all of these files it can find. It will also do it on every drive including your external hard drives or thumb drives. So we have this Microsoft database we have a few zip files. Right now they just contain some basic files. If you have a good memory, recognize trend fire security as the entiles and this other folder from the very first Rogamp and Danawalk to co-op video. Now the worm is supposed to overwrite zip and RAR files as well, so we will see if it does so. It's also supposed to delete files from Norton antivirus folders as well as many other popular antivirus program folders like Avast and uh, McAfee, Kaspersky and it also is supposed to close windows with scan or virus or fix in the title so we'll see if it does that as well alright well it's been almost two minutes and I've just been talking so we will go ahead and run the worm so it presents its fake error message the archive is in either unknown format or damaged. As you can see, every file disappeared from the Norton Antivirus folder. Now the worm will force you to restart the computer. As you can see, it disabled the sidebar here. Probably just like change some folder options, I'll bet. Oh, the folder options menu is gone. Oh wait, no, it's in here. This is in Windows 98. Alright, so. Show hidden files. Hide protecting. Okay. So as you can see, we're already running it on the 3rd, so we should see the payload 30 minutes after the computer forces us to reboot. Here you have winzip-temp.exe, that is the worm. Run DLL 16, that is also the worm. And it should also drop itself to system 32, but it does that after it disables keyboard and mouse input. So it should be update.exe. Here's scanregw, also the worm but I don't see update.exe yet so the worm has not yet dropped to the system folder but we should see it soon eventually we will not be able to input anything I guess it doesn't want to close this if we hit control shift escape take a look at the processes we have running we have run dll16 So that is the worm. And it doesn't appear to be crashing anything. Once again, all these files will be overwritten. Now I know it does. Oh, it was also in the root directory, apparently. How do you get the sidebar back? Is that like this? Something like that? Search something I don't know we'll go oh there we go as you can see it is apparently frozen but the animation is still going we can't even get into task manager so yeah basically the only thing you can do now is restart which we will do and 30 minutes after that we will come back and take a look and hopefully all of these files will have been overwritten Alright, the computer has been rebooted on the 3rd, and February 3rd, 2006 was actually the first day that it ever dropped its payload. So we should see update.exe, yep, here it is. So about 30 minutes from now we should see all of these files get overwritten, and the way it overwrites them is basically 
if you opened up one of your documents, pasted in some irrelevant content, and then saved it. So there really is no way to recover these files, except through backups. But if you have automatic daily backups, it's quite possible that the worm will, or that the overwritten copies will be backed up over the good copies. So it could be pretty devastating to get this worm in an office setting especially. So we'll check back in about 30 minutes, and we'll see if it has activated. Alright, checking back one more time. I've never noticed this before, but the worm actually has a system tray icon. Update, please wait. So I guess that's to discourage people from ending the update process. That's kind of clever. 30 days left for activation, that's Windows. But I've never seen this before. Learn something new every day, I guess. Alright, it's been about 40 minutes. So we should see that these documents were overwritten. Yep. Every document has been replaced with data error and some string, so everything you look at has been replaced with that. PowerPoint, Excel, Word, PDF should be overwritten. Yep, it's corrupted. Database, maybe. Yep, corrupted. How about the zip file? Yeah, it's definitely a lot smaller than it was. No archives found. See, as you can see, this worm would be pretty devastating to either a home user or an office setting. And as you can see, it does close windows with various strings like scan or fix in the title. So, this worm is pretty destructive, pretty damaging to businesses and home users alike. And that's really about it for the Nixum Windows Worm.